Hey guys, Horatio here, and it's vlog time, um, because I've been disappeared, and I thought that I probably owed y'all an explanation. Uh, part of it is this combination of a lot of work, and work as in, as in employment, as in my job, <laughs> and not a lot of work, both causing me to have no time and then have no monies and no monies equals no new toys and no new toys. It shouldn't equal this, but it frequently equals no new reviews. I know we have plenty of toys that I need to review that I haven't reviewed, but yeah, also just procrastination. I'll be honest about that one. Um, as to my communication issues, about a month and a half ago or so, my phone broke, which really, really stunk. Um, it was <laughs> giant hands. Uh, it was an Android one, and it was old. Obviously, it was an Android one. And uh, it broke. I was up for a upgrade, but I didn't want to use it quite yet because I, know new I, I knew new iPhones were coming out. And then they did, so I bought uh, an iPhone 4S, which uh, coincidentally is what this vlog is being filmed on. It's part of like an experiment. Um, I know I usually use either our webcam or my roommate's Canon 60D to film stuff. And now that I have an iPhone, I'll be doing a lot more vlogging on it. Especially like on-site on, on vlogging, which will be a lot of fun. Um, so that will hopefully increase the communication. Also, I wasn't really responding to YouTube comments because normally I do that on my massive bus ride to work on my phone, and I had a temporary loner phone that didn't really do much other than make phone calls, and it's insane to me that that that's a thing, that's a drawback, because <laughs> I remember when I got my, my Droid 2 not even two years ago, I feel like, I was like, mm, I don't know, I don't know if I'll ever need a smartphone. Mm -hmm they're not really a big deal. My droid 1, not my droid 2, whatever. Um, but it's crazy to me to think that now I'm like, I can't believe this phone only makes phone calls. I can't believe it's not very good at accessing the internets. Um, but that's that. Uh, as to other things that I've been doing, um, my birthday was on August 10th, and for my birthday, my parents sent me a Kindle, which was is pretty cool, so I've been doing a lot of reading. I had never really read a lot of H.G. Wells, so I'm getting caught up there. I'm rereading a lot of Jules Verne that I read as a kid and really kind of enjoying myself being like in late 1800s, early 1900s sci-fi nerd. <laughs> um, and also current TV shows that I've been watching. I've been watching American Horror Story, um, which is really cool so far. I'm really into it, and I have only had, <laughs> like, one nightmare from it. It's kind of terrifying at times. Um, I've also been watching Terra Nova, which I was really excited about after the WonderCon panel about it, because it just looked like the raddest thing ever, and it is because of dinosaurs. Everybody loves dinosaurs. They're the greatest thing ever, and Terra Nova's doing great so far. Also, the new Thundercats cartoon is awesome. Um, I'm super, super loving it. I'm excited for it to get started up again. And I guess that's mostly the TV I've been watching. New season of Psych and uh, looking forward to a new season of 30 Rock starting in January. Uh, other things. I bought a bunch of Ultra Axe a while ago. Um, quite a while ago. Like when, when Ultraman came out as an Ultra Act. And then I decided that I hate them, and that I don't really want to buy any more. But uh, those reviews will be coming up, so you can know why I hate them. Um, I loved Belial. I bought, Belial was that first one that I bought, and you can see my Belial review on my reviews. And I thought he was just one of the greatest toys that I've ever had, and so I was super excited when Ultraman came out, because as a kid, I used to watch so much Ultraman with my older brother, and I was just ridiculously disappointed. Um, so those reviews will be coming up. I've also got the Cure Sunshine and Cure Moonlight fig arts that I need to review. Um, several other fig arts, lots of new Transformers that need to get reviewed. Um, I had some polka dolls 
sent down from Oregon, uh, from my Pokemon collection that I want to get to reviewing, that's Spiritome and Darkrai. Uh, they're pretty cool little guys. And aside from that, um, I've been, I don't know if any of you have been paying attention to the fact that Toys R Us in the United States is now carrying SH Fig Arts. Uh, they, we just got our first shipment in yesterday at my Toys R Us, and I was super excited about it. It's uh, Shinken Red and Shinken Gold. They're $34.99 each, and it's just this super huge development for toy collectors, because it's kind of, Toys R Us has, for a couple years now, been carrying, like, McFarlane stuff and, you know, whatever, but it's the first time that it felt like they were really going, okay, here you go, toy collectors. <laughs> here is this awesome thing, be happy, whatever, shop here. And that's, that's really, really an exciting development, and I hope, I hope, 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 hope that it bodes well for the future. I personally don't really see any likelihood of them ever doing Common Rider fig arts at Toys R Us, because, you know, there was Dragonite, and that wasn't super successful, and aside from that, we haven't really had anything since Masked Rider. Um, but I would see more Sentai, and, um, and then, like, I thought probably the Dragon Ball Z stuff would be a likely assumption of something that they might do. Um, it would be cool if they did monster arts, because I'd love some affordable, affordable monster arts, but, um, that's my opinion on it. <laughs> it's really, really awesome. It's a really cool development, and I'm super excited that Toys R Us has kind of thrown us a bone here. Um, it's also cool to go to work and have people say, what's the deal with these? Why are these 35 bucks when the other Power Rangers figures are 10 bucks? And to be like, because they're the best. Um, and aside from that, I had, like I said, I haven't been buying a lot of toys um, right now. I'm kind of unsure how far I'll continue with uh, fig arts. Um, but I'm still super into uh, like DX roleplay toys and stuff like that. Right now, Transformers-wise, I'm getting really, really into cat Transformers. Because <laughs> I'm a girl. Um, and girls like kitties. But I really, really want to get some of the uh, Telemocha uh, releases that they did. Um, the really, really, really pretty Cheetahs, for example, I want, like, obsessively. Um... And aside from that, uh, excited for Pokemon Rumble, first 3DS Pokemon game released in the United States. And yeah, Halloween's coming up. Uh, I'm gonna be working, <laughs> more most, most likely working. Um, I know that this Saturday I'll be Jeffrey at my Toys R Us. Um, that, that is, that's the giraffe. And I'll be, I'll be in the Jeffrey costume. I'm always Jeffrey when we do Jeffrey events, and there's always a little Jeffrey's Halloween party thing. Um, and then aside from that, if I do anything on Halloween, it'll probably be in a Pikachu Kigurumi. So we'll see about maybe getting some vloggy stuff going on there, since I've got this awesome phone that I can vlog on, which is really, really exciting. Um, so I guess... For those of you who sat here for nine minutes watching me ramble, uh, <laughs> um, I have a question. What do you guys want to see? I'm looking for some... I need to get to filming some toy reviews so we can get this all powered up and going again. I'd like to start posting at least like two or three a week, get into regular postings, and then maybe one vlog a week, something like that. Uh, is there anything that you guys have been itching for me to review? I named some of the stuff that I've got laying around that needs a review. There's also lots more. <laughs> uh, if there's anything you guys have been seeing, anything you guys are curious about that I have in my collection, I'm not asking for you guys to be like, hey, buy this and review it, because I'm not... I'm poor. <laughs> uh, but anything in my collection, I'd love to, you know, know what people want to see. And if you want to see it, I'd love to review it. And other than that, any other ideas with things you'd like to see in vlogs and in my channel? I've been thinking about doing on-the-spot vlogs um, within San Francisco, like showcasing our favorite places to buy toys in San Francisco, because frequently 
we actually buy a lot of toys that we don't buy online. Like, we do frequent sites like AmiAmi and HLG and Yahoo Japan Auctions and eBay, but there's several local stores that are really, really cool and have really good stock of some really cool stuff, and we like to frequent those, and I was thinking it would be fun to showcase those, like, nerd places to go in San Francisco. Um, and aside from that, I was thinking about, like, this wouldn't happen. We're trying to move into a bigger apartment with a real kitchen, because this apartment has, uh, like, a mini fake kitchen that doesn't have an oven or a stove and has a hot plate. But when we move into a real apartment, real kitchen apartment, doodly, um, I was hoping to maybe do, like, a little cooking sh I don't want to say a cooking show kind of thing. But, you know, cook and be like, here's a recipe. This is cool. Here's how it looks when you're making it, and here's how it looks when it's done and it's tasty. I thought that would be fun. I've also thought about doing food reviews, but I've never been sure about it. Um, but if I did that, like, that might be kind of an on-the-fly thing in Japantown. You know, go pick out a snack review it, that kind of thing. Um, other than that, yeah, so let me know what you guys want. Let me know if any of those ideas made you guys go, whoa, that's awesome, or no, Horatio, that's idiotic. And uh, I will see you all very soon at the next review, which will be coming up. And thanks for watching, guys. Boo!